A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillah Rahman Rahim In the long occultation, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam is not talking about the saying word, Al-Qawl, coming from Imam Al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, the 12th Imam. Because this saying word, Al-Qawl, will come from the beast of the earth that will rise before Imam Al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, from the east. In the name of Allah, the merciful and the intensely merciful, he says, and when the saying or word, Al-Qawl, is fulfilled against them, we shall emerge from the earth a beast to face them. He will speak to them for that mankind did not believe with assurance in our signs. Surah An-Naml, verse 82. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his progeny said, those who will be firm by the saying, or the word, Al-Qawl, for him, meaning to Imam Al-Mahdi, during his occultation are more honored than red sulfur. Bisharat al-Islam, page 18. It was asked to Imam Abi Abdullah, peace be upon him, Imam Ja'far alayhi salam, when will the emergence be, may Allah make me a ransom? He said, peace be upon him. If he willed for the one that will have the matter and people, he said, will he have a sign before it? He said, peace be upon him, yes, numerous signs, the emergence of the beast of the earth from the east. Now, after when we read this hadith, we realized that there are two separate individuals. One individual is the beast of the earth that emerges or rises before Imam al-Mahdi peace be upon him. So the beast of the earth serves as a sign of the end times and a sign before Imam al-Mahdi. So one individual is the beast of the earth and the other is Imam al-Mahdi peace be upon him. And this hadith confirms to us uh, that we are going to read right now that Surely, the one that will come from the east, the beast of the earth, is a sign that Imam al-Mahdi himself has promised. Uh, from Ali, son of Ibrahim, son of Mizyar, from Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, when he was asked about, when will the matter arrive, he said, Imam al-Mahdi says, a year of such and such. And then there will emerge a beast of the earth from between the Safa and Marwa and with it is the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon leading the people to the gathering. Bisharat al-Islam, page 236. Now the main question is, what is that beast of the earth that comes from the east? Which comes before Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam during the long occultation giving the people a saying a word قول. what is that beast of the earth from Abdullah al Jarmi he said I entered to the prince of the believers peace be upon him and he said did I mention for you three things until when someone entered to me I said no so he said I am Abdullah I am the beast of the earth with its truth and justice and the brother of the Prophet. Did I tell you about the nose of the Mahdi and his eye? I said, companion said, no. So he, the Prince of the Believers, peace be upon him, placed his hand on his chest and said, I. Bihar Lenoir, volume 39, page 230, 243. When Ali, peace be upon him, said, I am the nose of the Mahdi and his eye, when he placed his chest, he meant that this Mahdi is the right hand or minister for the master of his time. Similarly, Imam Ali was the right hand and minister of his master of his time, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now the most interesting thing that we need to realize, Imam Ali said, he is the beast of the earth and after when he described the Mahdi, he said, I, 
while placing his hand on his chest. This tells us something important, that this Mahdi is like Imam Ali's position of the beast of the earth. We have already proven to you that the beast of the earth is not Imam al-Mahdi, the 12th Imam. In fact, Imam al-Mahdi himself had given one of his companions a sign that the beast of the earth is one of the signs before his emergence and even through a hadith that says that before the emergence of the riser is the beast of the earth so which other Mahdi is it? which other Mahdi that arrives during the long occultation before Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam 